Hi, it's Karen at RT Systems. I'm here to talk to you today about the cables, the RT Systems USB cables. Easily identified with the head of the cable, they have RT Systems embossed on one side, and they have a silver label that identifies the cable on the other side. What we're having trouble with, and we're seeing it more in Windows these days than we usually do, is loading drivers. I'm going to show you how to do that manually. I'm going to show you when that needs to be done and help you through it. It's a real easy process, just a few mouse clicks and you'll get it done. I happen to be working with the USB K4Y cable today. That's the RT Systems USB-K4Y cable. And I'm in the F6 programmer, the THF6 for the Kenwood radio. And I do communications and get data from radio. It, I've got the radio turned on and plugged in and everything's good. And I'm going to tell it OK. And it just kind of sits there. Then it tells me there's no response from the radio. Be sure the cable is connected and the radio is on. Well, I look down and the radio's on. The cable's connected. So what's going on? It happens on this one that the first thing I'm going to check is this item number nine on the radio. But I know I did that. So, and it's set to PC, so I know I'm ready to go. What might be going on? Let's troubleshoot one step further. I'm going to reduce this. I right click on the Windows emblem and I pick Device Manager. When I do, Device Manager opens. What I'm looking for is other devices and a yellow symbol. That's a real sign that drivers did not load. When this cable is installed properly, it will be under ports, common LPT, clearly identified as the USB K4Y. So I see this, and this is just where I'm going to start. I'm going to right click and update driver. I'm going to browse my computer for drivers. And since I have the F6 programmer installed, I'm going to browse. I'm going to go to local disk, program files x86, common files, RT systems v5, RT drivers. And you see, we handle a lot of different cables and radio combinations. This is USB COM drivers, and that's as far as I want to go. Don't pick anything else under that, even though there's some things that show up. Tell it OK here. And make sure this includes subfolders is checked. I tell it Next. And that's all the time it takes. USB K4Y radio cable. Ports, USB K4Y radio cable. Now, my machine didn't do it, but if your machine, even if it shows this, if it still shows a, a selection for other and a yellow emblem under it, repeat what I just did. It is not unusual for a machine to need the process done twice. So now I bring the programmer back up. I do communications, get data from radio, tell it OK, and I'm up and running. We'll be more than happy to help with this. Give us a call. You can find us at 404-806-9561. This is Karen, K0RTX. I'll catch you on the air, 73s.